Hey students, what's up? Another review question for the midterm. In this example, we have a 30 kilogram child that is running towards a sled at four meters per second. This 50 kilogram sled is at rest. The child is gonna jump onto the sled, causing her and the sled to travel in this direction over here, okay? And the question is gonna ask, what's the speed of the system after the child jumps on the sled? What is the kinetic energy of the system just after the child jumps on the sled? And now after coasting, the child is gonna dive off the sled, maybe the sled's heading for a tree, and, and that makes the child at rest in relation to the surface. And so what is the speed of the sled just after the child jumps off? What is the kinetic energy of the sled just after she jumps off? And we're gonna see that there's gonna be an increase in kinetic energy they want to know where could this increase possibly come from, okay? So first and foremost, let's start with the first problem. Now, this is going to be a total inelastic collision where we know that the P before has to be equal to the P after. If you're not sure what P is, guys, you have to go back and watch some videos that I made about momentum. But this is saying that the momentum before is equal to the momentum after because momentum is conserved. Now, before, how many items do we have? Well, we have one item here and we have another item over here. And after, we just have one item of the combined system. So I'm going to say that P1 plus P2, because you have to find the momentum of both, is going to be equal to the momentum of this system. Now, when we look to solve for those, we solve for momentum by taking M1V1 plus M2V2 equals. Now, this, this whole system right now is the sum of the mass, M1 plus M2, and it'll have sum V final. So in this problem, they want to know the speed after. So we see that V final is going to be equal to M1V1 plus M2V2 divided by M1 plus M2. So now what we have to do is substitute in 30 kilograms, that is the mass of the child, and it was moving at four meters per second, plus zero because V is at rest. So if this is zero, then the momentum is also zero as well. Divided by 30 kilograms plus the 50 kilogram sled, that is going to give us a final speed of 1.5 meters per second. Now for part B, to find the Ke, the kinetic energy of a system is just one half mv squared. So we have one half. Now remember, this is the so total system's kinetic energy. So this is going to be 80 kilograms, the sled plus the child, plus the speed that we just solved for. Do not forget the squared. I say it all the time. Do not forget the squared. And we see that this has an energy after of 90 joules. Now this daredevil has jumped off. So we see that this total inelastic collision is actually going to be in reverse. We're still going to have P before equals P after. But now we have this M1 plus M2, the sled and the rider traveling at some speed. And then after, they're going to jump off and become two more items. M1, V1, the speed of the child, the momentum of the child, plus the momentum of the sled after. So we substitute in 50 kilograms plus 30 times the speed that it was before, 1.5. So now this after speed becomes the before speed. We have zero now because this child is going to be at rest in relation to the surface, so they're not going to have any momentum after they jump off, plus the 50 kilogram sled times V. And we see that the final velocity now of the sled is going to be 2.4 meters per second. And they're saying, okay, well, now this the thing sped up, right? So now I want to find out what is the kinetic energy after. Well, the kinetic energy is going to now be equal to one half mv squared of the sled plus one half mv squared of the child. So we have one half 50 times 
2.4 squared, don't forget the squared, plus zero, because once again, they are at rest. So if they don't have any momentum, she does not have any kinetic energy as well. We see, wow, this thing jumped up to 144 joules of energy. So there was an increase. So now in part E, it's saying, where did that increase come from? Come from? It pretty much came from the child pushing off. For the child to get away from the sled that it was moving with, it had to use its muscles and it had to push the sled away. So we got some extra energy from the child's muscles. And that's essentially exactly where that energy, extra energy came from. We had a sled that was moving along at 90 joules of energy. The kid said, I want to get off. And to get off, it had to add energy to the system to make the sled go further away than it was. And it increased it to 144. And that's where the energy came from.